Custom pre-workout shaker. All right, so normally at Christian's gym, there are a shortage of cups. So what I did was, if you watched his video, I actually brought him a case of 24 ounce cups, about 500 of them, so we won't have that problem again. But as you see, we we're desperate for cups that day, so I kind of used uh, the NO3 from Cellucor as a cup. Sometimes you just gotta improvise, you know? So started this leg workout with the uh, Cybex leg uh, squat press, and as you see, we went pretty heavy, nine plates on each side. Feeling pretty good today on this workout. So I kind of like to switch things up with my leg presses, um, you know, Depending on how I feel that day, I switch up my leg stances. So my stance on today's squat press was actually a very narrow stance and really just trying to target the quads, uh, the outer quads individually as opposed to the inner quads. Then we moved on to, um, actually we did five sets of that, um, should I mention. Then we moved on to some good old fashioned back squats in which I'm still having a ton of trouble. Um, if you're watching this, obviously this is very old footage. So I'm really trying to catch up guys, I promise. Um, but I'm actually, you know, in present day time, I'm actually staying away from back squats. I think I'm gonna stay away from them for about six to 10 weeks, really trying to um, let my back fully recover. You see 295, oh man, it, it, 295 is really not supposed to be that heavy. But in terms of, you know, my bar speed, it looked a lot heavier than it seemed. And that's because, you know, my back is so uncomfortable when I back squat. But um, my front squat is a lot better, as you will see in um, other videos coming up. And it's just one of those things where my discs um, are, you know, when you have your disc and your spine, there's supposed to be cartilage in between them. And two of my discs are actually colliding right now, so there's no cartilage in between. And so it's it's a bit uncomfortable. Oh, Derek here saying I look like I'm riding a tricycle on this little hamstring machine because I'm kind of scooting forward. Um, you know, I explained to you guys why I like to do my hamstring curls like this. And uh, he was making fun of me, trolling me. But anyways, moving on to some dumbbell lunges. Um, I think we're doing about 16 to 18 steps, meaning about 8 to 9 reps per leg. Um, moved on to pretty heavy, actually went up to 50 pounds after all of those movements and uh, pretty high volume, which is always the way I like to train. And honestly, I, I feel like my quads are overdeveloped as opposed to my hamstrings. I know my legs are kind of skinny, but that is honestly because my calves are so tiny. Really just trying to grow them as much as I can. Not ashamed of it anymore, you know, just trying to um, embrace it. <laughs> so, I mean, there's no point, you know, in, in being ashamed of it because you got to love your body. So, um, embrace your genetics. And next we moved on to some stiff-legged hamstring, um, stiff-legged deadlifts and uh, just pulling from the rack, which, is, which has a preset height. As you see, my stance is a bit wider than normal, and that is because um, it's kind of like a sumo stance, but not really. But this really targets the glutes and, and uh, hips a lot more um, as you're hip thrusting on your um, at the top of the movement. So just incorporate a sumo plus stiff legged deadlifts all in one movement. If you guys haven't tried this, because this is pretty unconventional, definitely give it a shot because you know, my glutes are sore for the next like two days, I, I believe after this, because at the top of the movement, I'm not really, as you see, I'm not over thrusting, just barely to the point where, you know, my glutes are activating. I'm not what you, what you would call hyper extending or hyper, you know, just 
pushing too forward and which which um, will actually cause injury in your discs so um, after that we moved on to actually we were complete after this but did a ton of stretching as you see I'm really trying to just improve my hip mobility with hamstrings and everything like that so Derek you know he was a track star back in the high school days so um, we did some stretching that he really um, recommended, which f was for hips, inner thighs, outer quads, T-bands, and, and uh, hamstrings. We do a lot of mobility, and I can, I, I can and I will do a full mobility video um, in terms of how I warm up for lower body and how I warm up for upper body. And I know you guys are eager to see that, but um, comment down below if you would like to see that, honestly. Mobility for you guys that don't know is actually how you stretch and how mobile your body is. So um, finish off with this and actually will help your muscles grow guys. So definitely give it a shot. Stay tuned for the next clip. Post-workout meal. You're welcome for those plates. Aren't they nice? Um, nice. You guys want to grow or what? We have, we deserve it. I think, I think, um, we, I, f I feel like my quads grew like two, two inches after that workout so and enjoy this meal this okay. epic meal bread, if wants to try it, like Nala, Nala thinks it's she's like gonna get some pizza sorry Nala bitches <laughs> here we go man I want like one of each I want the middle oh my around. gosh rolling in the Pacific Islander Jeep today Tim, Tim doesn't even train calves. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. Maybe like once a week. Now. Genetics for days, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Currently making gains. Dun 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 dun. Fro yo, fro yo, fro yo, fro yo. Bro. Oh. Bro. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I swear, if this one sucks, I'll be very. Oh my gosh. Javon! Oh, oh, get it, get it, oh! Ooh, ooh, ooh. For the ladies, he's taken though. He's taken, ladies, he's taken. Oh, get it, get it, get it. Hey, back double bicep, back double bicep. Back double bicep, yeah, get that, yeah, get that. Get that, boy, get that, oh! Um, so, future Javon physique bodybuilding competitor, 2016. Uh, I don't know. Stick around and find out, guys. Oh, also, Javon has made... Um, well, he's had a YouTube channel before, but he has now reactivated and is now very active in terms of video editing. And obviously, you guys already know from Christian's videos that his editing is top-notch, guys. So go ahead and go check out his channel, Javon Alvin, on YouTube. And... Um, Tell them I sent you. So comment in his comment section below. And make sure you guys let him know that Hong Fit showed him some love. So if you guys haven't noticed by now, um, the mic quality is 10 times better. 10 times better. Because a lot of you were complaining about my mic quality. And I thank you for that constructive criticism. So what I did was I got a Yeti mic. So as you can tell, the mic quality is so much better than what I was using before, which were my Apple iPhone headphones with the built-in mic. So gotta make improvements, guys. Thank you guys for commenting down below and uh, showing me that criticism. And um, for those of you guys who are wondering about these uh, red Alpha Lead tank tops that I'm wearing, this was actually from the last launch. Oh, hi Nikki. But anyways, this is from the last launch and I think Alpha Elite is actually trying to reproduce tank tops. However, it's going to be much better as you guys already noticed by the new shirts now. So 
the new launch is approaching guys if you guys are up to date with alpha Lee athletics instagram all the shirts are coming out the track pants guys the track pants are so awesome cannot wait for you guys to see them i know i myself will be getting about 30 of them bitches because they are the ish but um you guys should actually do the same before they run out because once they run out of that quality and that color you already know that's not going to come out again so everything is limited quantity just like you guys already know from before and uh, make sure you snag them before they get sold out because once they're sold out and you try to buy them you're just going to regret that you didn't buy them in the beginning so anyways arm day here and um I'm actually staying away from arm day because I feel like arm day is one of my strong points. What we did was we're actually going back to the original split, um, which is the six day on and one day off. Just for more volume, more overall volume. And um, I like training six days and just having that set day, which is Sunday off because it, you know I get to spend time with my family and just get to relax honestly because that's the one day where I don't work and sometimes you need time for yourself, you know? With the Alpha Lee crew, with the fam, uh, at Japanero's right now, and uh, getting some sushi on a Friday night, just enjoying the night. Uh, Joe's gonna make some gains tonight, for real. You gotta put 20 pounds on Joe. Do you want to, bro? I'm ready, man. I think I'm ready. Do you wanna get big? No. Yeah, maybe. Hey, I'm thinking about it. Do you wanna grow? Do you wanna grow? You wanna lay down and grow, bro? Saturday guys, so if you can hear Frozen playing in the background at uh, my girlfriend's goddaughter's birthday party, so no protein, none, none, what that cake do, what that cake do, godmother, hello godmother, where's your goddaughter? Like the bird. Okay. 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 To YouTube. What are you gonna say to YouTube? I'm fine. <laughs> I don't so, spending Saturday night like the high school days at Redbox. Gonna get a romantic movie, spend some time with my baby girl. Because apparently, she says I don't spend enough time for her. He doesn't. And that I'm not, I, I don't make her priority, so. <laughs> I'm gonna prove her I'm gonna prove her wrong. And then we'll see who has the last say. Eggy. Obviously I do, right? <laughs> Tell everybody I have the last say. I do. Nope. So red box and then going to enjoy the night. 
not vlogging tonight. This will be the last clip for tonight. So have a great night, and I'll see you guys all in the, in the, in the next dark. clip. I'm so full, by the way. I have. Oh my gosh, I did not go. I did not like think I was gonna eat that much. So we ordered like so much food, and then my brother and I weren't weren't full, so we ordered like <clears throat> some chicken. Ended up being a five pound chicken, and we just had to destroy it because I don't like to waste food. And then obviously for gains purposes. You know, so yeah guys, have a great night. I'll see you guys all in the next clip. So, um, on this day, we actually maxed out on bench press. Um, we went into it feeling really good. However, you know, as you guys know, my shoulder has been kind of bugging me lately so only 295 here um, and I kind of felt just a bit of pain so kind of stepped back from that but um, the girls actually had a little bench off and they're sh a lot stronger than I thought honestly since they don't really work upper body at all Nikki with 105 pounds 105 pounds let's go Nikki Let's go, Nikki. Go! Go! Up, 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 pick it up. Keep your hands off. Keep your hands off the bar. Wait, how do you feel? Let Chelsea hit it. It's like a winner. Bench press. Champ. Oh. 15. It's hanging a poster like up there. What? The oldest back? Scratch that. They actually do train the upper body, but just like really once in a while. But, um, Nikki with the best bench press champion, 105 pounds at, I think, 100 pound body weight. She's freaking strong, guys. Um, but um, I got some work cut off for me. Can't let her catch up to me. But incline dumbbell press after flat bench press. 85s here, nothing too fancy. And like I said, you know, this workout wasn't feeling too good because I think. The 295 really tweaked me a little bit. After that, went on to some uh, cable flies. And most of you are actually asking me why or if there's a difference between standing up on this or sitting down. And for me, I like standing up on this machine just because if you notice, my hands are above where the handles are. So it's just where the little metal part is. And for me, the best contraction is there. So I stand up just a tad bit because I am not that tall. Most of you guys asking me how tall I am. I'm 5'9". So if you're watching this video, I am 5'9". So tell everybody else that I'm 5'9". Because everybody keeps asking me. Because um, I think everyone thinks I'm like 5'4 or something. After that, moved on to one of my favorite exercises. And that is the reverse grip lat pull down. Um, and if you notice my range of motion is a bit shorter is because that is the range of motion I find that's best for me um, in terms of contracting and uh, and Stretching my back so I feel less in my biceps and that's why I do that and everyone's range of motion is different guys, so What works for me may not work for you guys, so that's actually going to conclude this commentary Please enjoy this rest of the video and thank you for the amazing support guys. Love you guys and hashtag HongFit for everything. Um, saw my parents come in and they actually did not invite me to BJ's and my parents are right here and they didn't even tell me they're here. Uh, oh. <laughs> they didn't even tell me they're here. With the Alpha League family, with the fam at BJ's. Today's Sunday, so um, we, we decided to make it real fancy and go to BJ's. It's not like we go to BJ's all the time, but you know, it's Sunday, so might as well, you know. Javon is so fancy. He eats pizza with a uh, fork and knife, New York style. Nikki's teaching us how to play video games, using her expertise, offering great advice. She's shooting at air, <laughs> shooting just nonsense. All so full from BJ's. Can't just always end up getting bazookis, but you can't go to BJ's and not have a bazooki. Right, Danae? Just getting fat. 
<laughs> we all just have double chins. Yeah. Like, By the end of this year, I'll be like probably 180. Oh. I'm Batman, bitches.